Hey guys, forgive the change in camera. I left and brought the arm to film from above, but not the one to turn the camera straight. So we're gonna have to rely on my cell phone because I don't wanna delay these as far as getting them up. But here is Mr. Tigger. His tummy thing is sewn on. I kind of have him sitting at an angle. There are his ears and Got him stuffed crooked. There we go. His nose, his beady little eyes. And the only thing I can say about this pattern that I'm not crazy about, that neck, even though I stuffed it and restuffed it, is just not quite as stiff as I would like. But I guess that's why his snout is made like it is because it does help hold it up. And I did go in and tack his tail down because it was just irritating me. So that is it. That is the finished Tigger. I am going to actually put this at the beginning of the videos. So forgive me for not turning it around and showing my face. It's irritating me. There we go. Um, but... As always, there are a few disclaimers. One, Tigger is not my creation. This pattern is not my creation. Tigner, Tigger belongs, I'm sure, to Disney, probably by now. And then, of course, the pattern book is a leisure arts pattern. So as a result, as always, I cannot give you the pattern. I have a lot of people contact me and ask, and I just cannot do it. It's not mine to give. Um, I have been told that it's free online. I don't know if it is or isn't. I don't have a copy that's been like downloaded, so I can't help with that. The other thing is I am not a professional crocheter. This is just my interpretation of it. And because of those two facts combined, I have not, let me see, how can I put this as a disclaimer? I have not shown everything that there is to be shown on each, you know, round or row. And I have also not made any effort to go back. And if I've misspoken or anything like that and didn't catch it at the time, I've not made any effort to go back and correct things like that. So this is truly just uh, me taking you along as I crocheted and hopes that it will help you. Um, bum, 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 bum. Is there anything else I did differently? I think that's everything. I did find the ears a little frustrating to sew on, but that is what it is. So this is, sorry about the shadow, but it's the end of the day and I have finished. And I want to get these videos edited. This is Tigger and that's what he should look like. And they've got theirs, sorry about the getting closer, sitting up a little better than I do, but you can see his face better that way. So guys, this is going to go in front of every one of the videos and at the end of the last one. So somewhere around, I don't know, hopefully the end of this week, beginning of next week, which should be like the third or fourth week of February. I'm drawing a blank right now. I'll be getting these videos up for you. So thanks for watching and thanks for tagging along for this. If you like these kind of videos, I'd love it if you'd subscribe and click the like button. It just lets me know, have a better idea of what kind of content to do. And the other thing would be if you have a request or a suggestion for something else that I should make, do a crochet or knit along for, please let me know in the comments or come find me over on Facebook. I'm over there at, at home with Shara C. And I'm on Instagram, but honestly, very rarely. I just don't check it a lot. So thanks again. And let me stop rambling and get this going. Hi guys, I am back. Yesterday we finished, let's see, well, I don't know if it's yesterday or not based on when these videos are going up, but anyway, we have finished the ears, the face, the jaw, we're working on the face. We've done the mouth, the jaw, and the nose, so today we are on the muzzle. Let me begin by saying, yes, you're going to have to see my sock feet because I don't put my shoes on the couch. 
Two, most important of all, I am not a professional crocheter. I don't play one in my fantasy world. I don't, I'm not one in real life. So, you know, if I make a mistake, you're just going to have to watch me pull it out. If I misspeak, guys, extend a little grace. It is what it is. This is just a try to help you through. Because I am recording the intros and exits, or at least the intros anyway, separately, just in case I fail to mention it in today's intro, this is not my pattern. I cannot give you the full pattern. Yada, 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 all disclaimers. This is just how I'm interpreting the pattern. So we are on the muzzle. It starts with a note. Do not cut color unless indicated and always keep dropped color to wrong side. When instructed to cut color, we thread in through stitches on wrong side to secure. So we are starting with our orange, yellow, and nose. Oh my goodness, my cats are over there yowling at each other. Did you hear that? Okay, sorry about that. I set my stuff where I couldn't reach it. Not the smartest, but typical. However, I did remember this time to bring a different color to mark my sides. So I've got my orange, and again, I am using this burnt pumpkin because it feels more like a tigger color to me than what I could find, and then just a pale yellow. So with right side of nose facing, join the orange with a single crochet in the second single crochet after the slip stitch. So the second single crochet after the slip stitch. So our slip stitch, let me make sure I'm lined up here, was where we joined. So that's that. And then there's that stitch. And this is the second one after it. To join with a single crochet. Single crochet. Did I join with a single crochet in the second slip sti stitch? Ugh, can't talk. Join the orange with a single crochet in the second single crochet after the slip stitch and single crochet in the same stitch. So that's going to have two single crochet in the next seven. two single crochet in the next single crochet changing to the yellow in the last single crochet made okay in case you haven't done this before when you're getting ready to do that you leave your two loops on your hook and you take your yarn and make your loop on your hook and pull it through. What that does is it completes your orange single crochet and has your yellow ready for the next one. Okay, two single crochet in the next one with the, and we are working with the yellow now. Two single crochet, changing to yellow. Two single crochet in next single crochet in next two. One, two, two single crochet in next single crochet, single crochet in next five, two, three, four. Five, 
then two single crochet in the next single crochet single crochet in the next two which brings us to our weird slip stitch join of the nose and then two single crochet in the last one and well we worked out to the right spot anyway so this is what we've got we are kind of working when we look at our tigger face here let's back up a minute let me show you that you see our tigger face and we're working our orange on this side and our yellow on this side so here you see I have the orange on the top of the nose and the yellow on the bottom. So that's what we're going to be doing. And I am on page 15 in my book. I have been told that there is a yarn version of these and not a thread one. I don't actually have it. So it may or may not be on a different page if that's what you're trying to use. Okay, so join with a slip stitch in the first one, chain one, and turn. So I am working two single crochet, And then single crochet in 15. We are working with the yellow. And as you can tell, what we had to do was flip our nose where it's like the wrong side is facing us in case you didn't catch that, and I didn't think to say it. Oh, I lost count, guys. Sorry, I'm going to have to pull that out and start back over. So I chained one and turned. Two single crochet in the first one. Then single crochet in 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, one, two, three, four. last stitch of the yellow we're going to do two single crochets remembering that we're going to be changing back to that orange with this one so we have to pick it up again pulling this yellow tail towards you so that it's on the wrong side of our work in this case pull the orange through to finish off that and then changing to orange, single crochet, and last 11. Hold on, I've got something wrong. Yeah. 
There we go. I missed a stitch. I was going to say something is wrong. So that is something to watch out for. By bringing that yarn over, it can hide your lap, your first stitch. So double count, double check, and make sure you have the 11 there. Because I totally missed my first one not seeing it for the yarn pulling through. Okay, so we have worked our second round of yellow and orange. Join with a slip stitch. Chain one and turn. Round three. We're going to start out, of course, with the orange. Two single crochet. Single crochet in next nine. Seven, eight, nine, and two single crochet in the last one. But on this one, you are going to switch your colors. So remember to switch your color for that last one. Now on our yellow. Do, do, do. Two single crochet in the next one. Single crochet in the next 17. crochet in the last stitch join with the slip stitch to the first orange single crochet chain one and turn round four okay we are increasing working even then increasing in the yellow so let's see here. crochet in the last one but remember on that second one to bring your yarn back to the wrong side what I do is just catch it with this thumb there is a squirrel on my patio and my cat is part Siamese so he like sounds like he's dying um, I actually I'm not sure he's not full Siamese but he it's a long story how I ended up with him don't have any papers on him though he sounds like he's dying but he's actually squawking at the squirrel so anyway, I joined that orange back and I am single crocheting in 13.
the slip stitch in the first yellow, chain one and turn. So that's round four, round five, single crocheting in 13 again with the orange. Remember when you hit number 13 to pick up your yellow, making sure that your orange is, what I do is I kind of like to pull the orange, can you see this? If I pull this yellow out straight, then I pull the orange to this side of it, just so that it comes up over it. I just think it makes a neater appearance. Now in our yellow for, do, do, round five, we're gonna single crochet in 23. Join with a slip stitch into that first one on the orange. Chain one and turn. Now we're back. Look, periodically, I just find it easiest to stop before I start the next round and get my yarns untangled from each other. Ooh, sorry, I didn't mean to bang the camera. Um, but that just, periodically, I just stop at the beginning of the round and go ahead and do that and it just seems easier. Okay, round six, we are working with yellow to single crochet. Single crochet and around to the last one, which will have two. yellow has two single crochets remember on that second one again pull your yarn in bring your orange up and finish off that one you should end up with do you see how these are kind of looping around each other a smooth line here if at all possible it just means that your stitches on the front are going to look more even Okay, now for the orange, we're just single crocheting in our 13 again.
the slip stitch, chain one and turn, and I've got to flip my book because that was the last of that page. Okay, round seven, we're single crocheting in our 13 orange. that 13th one to bring your yellow up and catch it. Now, changing to yellow, cut the orange, Single crochet in the next nine. Working over yellow, oh, let me back up, decrease, changing to pink. So in our decrease, we're going to pull through the next two, and then we're going to change to our dark pink. Now, I am using the same pink. I did not like the light colored nose. So, I'm using just the same pink for both. And we are changing to this work and continuing to work over the yellow. So, to change to this, we have our three loops of yellow on there. I'm going to leave a pretty long tail because I will come back and work all those in and pull through. And I'm going to also pull that a little tighter with the yellow just to pull my stitch tight. Now it says to work over the yellow. What that means is that we're going to lay this yellow up here on top of this previous of this previous round and each time we work a stitch, well I'll show you, let's see what it says to do. Single crochet in the next 3. So I go in the next stitch just like regular. I bring my yellow up, my yellow tail that's hooked to my um, doo -doo -doo, hooked to my skein of yarn. There we go. My brain wouldn't spit the word out. And I work my stitch over it. So that's one, two, and then on the third one, I am switching back to the yellow and dropping the pink. Now you're going to find that this first pink stitch, can you guys see that clearly? I hope so. I can't tell from the lighting. Um, that first pink stitch looks a little big. You'll be able to use your tail to adjust it. In fact, what I'm going to do is flip my work over. Now I'm going to pull my hook out and I'm going to flip my work over and come in here and as a temporary measure I'm just going to catch this in here. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna pull out of the thing now. Okay, so that is back to the yellow, dropping the dark pink, decrease so we now have pink and yellow going. Decrease, single crochet in last nine. Now if I did that right, I'll have nine stitches left. F 
four. Eight, nine, join with the slip stitch, chain one, and turn. Okay, we have a note that says begin working in rows, stranding yellow across the wrong side as necessary when changing colors. Do, 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 do. Okay, so it sounds like we're doing the same thing. The biggest thing is going to be to make sure we can either carry the yellow under, which may not be a bad idea, but I don't know. We'll try it the way they say first. So, let's see. Single crochet in first eight. Then we're going to decrease, changing to pink, so that means we're going to get our three loops on our thing, pull this yellow, you'll see how I'm pulling it back toward my right hand on the side of the work facing me. I'm picking up my pink and pulling it through that to finish off the yellow decrease. Now we are going to do two single crochet in the first pink stitch, one single crochet in the middle pink stitch, and two in the last pink stitch. And then it says to drop the pink and decrease. Guys, I think for ease, let me see, let me let me check something. Because some of those sections of the pink get to be oh seven stitches across, that is a longer string than I want to leave in the middle. So I am actually going to pull my pink stitches out. And I am going to carry my yarn, my yellow yarn, under my pink stitches. I, I just think I will personally be happier with that. You do not have to do that. But let me see how it looks first before I commit to that. Two, one, one, two. Let me see. If that shows too badly. Okay, I don't think that shows horribly with that yellow strand under there. So I, that is what how I'm choosing to do this. That is not exactly what the directions say. The directions do say to just drop it and pick it back up, leaving the long strand under there. But I'm not using thread. I'm using yarn and using seven stitches with that long of a yarn strand left under there is just longer than I want to have to have to deal with so I'm going to carry my yellow under now I'm changing back to the yellow decreasing and single crocheting in eight Okay, now, when it says to leave the remaining 15 single crochets unworked, they mean do not work on this orange side. So we're going to um, chain one. wonder why they're not having us do a slip stitch. But they're not, so so be it. So chain one. I'm sure it'll all be abundantly clear when we hit a later point in the pattern. So now row two, single crochet in the first seven. Six. 
six, seven. Now we're going to decrease, but for this decrease, we've got to finish it off with our pink strand. There we go, and I am carrying again my yellow. You do not have to. You can drop it and let it strand. The big thing, if you leave that strand behind it, you have to remember not to pull it so tight that it puckers your work. Single crochet in the next five, which will be the five pink. And on the fifth one, change back to your yellow. I need to pull that pink a little tighter. That was a sloppy stitch. There we go. Decrease. And single crochet in the last seven. Again, we are going to chain one, but we are not joining with a slip stitch. And this is row three, single crochet in the first six. We are decreasing finishing it off with our pink and there we go. I am again choosing to carry my yellow over my pink stitches. So decrease two single crochet in the first pink single crochet from the previous round. Single crochet in the three middle ones. One, two, three. Then two single crochets in the last one, remembering to switch to your yellow on the final one for the last bit of it. Single crochet, then decrease and single crochet in the last six. So decrease and then one, two, and I'm going to have to untangle my yarns here. Three, four, five, and six. And now is a good time. You can see I'm getting a jumble here. For me to unwind my yarns. Perfect. Okay, chain one and turn. Whoops, chain one and turn. So that was row three. Row four, single crochet in the first five. Three. Four, five. Again, we are decreasing and we'll pick our pink up at the with the last of that stitch, working those three loops off. I'm carrying my yellow. And we are to single crochet in all seven of the pink. So I will do six, one, two, three, four, five, six. I will do half of my seventh and then pick back up my yellow to finish it. I will do a decrease.
and single crochet in the last five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that was row four. Row five says chain one and turn, single crochet in the first four. One, two, three, four. We are going to do our decrease, remembering to switch to that pink for the last bit of it. I'm going to carry my yarn again. Single crochet in the next seven with the pink, which is all of them, I believe. One, so I'll do six. Six, then on the seventh one, I'm going to work half of it, bring my pink over, and pick up my yellow to join. Decrease. And then the last four will be single crochets. I'm going to chain one and turn and untwist again. You probably could do this as bobbin work, but because I don't know like how much I would need, I, I just don't want to have to cut my yarns unnecessarily. So row six is single crochet in the first three. I'm going to work my decrease down to the last loop, pick up my pink, Get it started. Do, 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 do. And then we're doing just our seven pink again. So working the pink even. I'll do six and two, three, four, five, six. Do this halfway. Pick up my yellow, pull my pink tight to pull that stitch snug, and then decrease and one, two, three. We'll chain one. Okay, we're repeating that, just working the first two single crochets. Our decrease where we change back to our pink. Then we work our full seven in pink. I'll do the up to the last one where, I, whoops, I forgot to carry my yellow. See, pulling those pink stitches out. There we go. Okay, now I'm ready. my yellow is good and whatever. Okay, half of the seventh one, bring my yellow back up and catch it. Decrease again. Single crochet in the last two. Okay, this is our joining round. Chain one and turn. Holding muzzle and jaw with right sides together. Matching the marked side. 
Mark Rowe on jaw. Okay, so that was where I put my pink, extra pink marker here, Mark Rowe on jaw, matching the Mark Rowe on jaw with the first single crochet on the muzzle and working through both thicknesses, single crochet in next three rows. Okay, so the easiest way to do this, I had to look at it for a minute, is to turn this piece, let me make sure I got this right here, what we're after is for our mouth to line up like this. So what I really want is to turn this piece wrong side out for my work, the way I'm working right now. And is that correct? Hold on guys, let me figure out what I'm doing here. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to work wrong sides together which means there's just something weird about how I'm holding mine, but for whatever reason, right sides together does not work for my hands. So, <clears throat> where's my yellow? So I'm joining here and I'm working through both thicknesses, these three stitches that I have in yellow on the part with the nose. So I'm doing that one, two, and three. When it's saying to work through the rows, it means the rows on the muzzle is where you're working through the ends of the rows. Okay, now at this point, we are using, if I can figure out where the string is, the pink to pull together the mouth. I am actually completely finishing that yellow as it is and just picking up my pink because I will go back with all these tails and make sure that this join is exactly how I want it. And then I am to join these seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. So join the seven pink using the pink now, but I'm going to carry this yellow over. Change to dark pink, working through inside loops only. Okay, so inside loops are, if I'm holding this work together, this loop and this loop, the two in the middle that are touching each other. So with the pink, I'm working through these to make a ridge in that mouth. And I apologize, I'm gonna to have to turn my work where I can definitely see it, so there we go. One, two, this is awkward, guys, to hold where I can try to do it where you can see it and not three and I forgot to carry my yellow oh back up one two three let me pull this yellow to the side if I can get my fingers on it okay there's my yellow here's my pink. Now I'm joining these inside loops only. And 
do, 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 these little tails are in the way, but one of those will actually be my my stitch marker. I just don't want to pull it out until I'm sure I've got this on here correctly. One. Oh, hold on. Just. All right, guys. Back up. And let me fix this because this is bugging me. Bugging me, bugging me, bugging me. Okay. There we go. Now. Chain one. I'm joining this. All these little tails I'm just going to stick inside out of my way. There we go. That's much better. Now, joining this together, we're single crocheting it into the ends of the three rows on the muzzle. Here I'm going to pick up my pink strand and carry my yellow across. Now on this we are joining our seven single crochets for the tongue, the mouth, the whatever you want to call it. It works best for me if I think of it as a tongue. Only doing the inside loops. Mine's going to look a little awkward because I am carrying that yellow across there. I don't want those strands to... Three... And that one, and this one, four... five sorry guys this is awkward but basically I'm just going into the inside loops of the pink six on the seventh one I'm going to switch to my yellow And finish that single crochet off. Pull that pink a little tighter. And then the next three. So one, two, and three. And finish off. Okay, now in theory, haha. -ha, when we turn these, what did I do wrong? Oh. We have a Tigger mouth, but check this out. My nose is wrong side out. So, I have to take that off and fix it. Figure out why my nose is wrong side out. I think a while ago when I flipped it, I shouldn't have. Best thing about crocheting, guys, is if you make a mistake, you can just pull it out and fix it. It's because my muzzle is wrong side out. I was like, this is not making any sense. Learn from my mistakes, guys. That's why I'm here doing these. I had the muzzle wrong side out, which explains why it was not working like it was supposed to. I couldn't figure out why I had kept having to turn it a while ago. But that explains it. Okay, fix my chain one back. There we go. Now I'm working across the th 
three rows here one two and three catching in the three yellow stitches on what are they calling it on the muzzle and I'm going to use the pink to finish that third one if I can figure out where it is there it is I'm carrying across the yellow across the pink with the yellow and again we're back to working in those inside stitches one second times the charm right I'm sorry guys because I know this is awkward but it's very hard for me to twist it where I can see through all pieces and where you can see it in the camera five six on the seventh one I am going to pick back up my yellow and then I work across those last three so one two I think I ran into this with one of the other pieces I had to put a note in my book on which side was facing me and in this case when you're connecting these two in order for me to make it work I have to have the jaw that we crocheted first closest to me and then finish it off and voila we have a can you see this a tigger mouth wah, 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 wah. oh and make a cute puppet but here's what we have. Here is where we joined them together. Our mouth tongue is matching. And then here's the top of the orange nose. And now, let me see. I've got enough battery time left that I can do the orange, I'm sorry, do the eye area, I think. With right side of muzzle facing, let me move this pink out of the way here. Can't move it if I don't clip it, can I? When I finish doing all of this, I am actually going to go back in and secure some of these ends with a needle. Just will make me happier. So let's move the pink. Got the yellow. We're joining it on the right side of the muzzle with the single crochet, with the first orange single crochet unworked. So right side is facing me, first single crochet. It says to join with the single crochet. Single crochet in the same stitch, so that means there's going to be two stitches in that first one single crochet in next five two three four five then two single crochet in the next one and one two, three, four, five, and two single crochet in the last one. Chain one and turn. 
rows two, three, four, and five, we are going to single crochet in evenly, and that's 16 stitches a piece. So two, three, four, five, that's four rows. I've got something, I've got a stitch count off or something. Let me see here, pull that out and start over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Hmm. Apparently I don't. Apparently I just can't count right. So once again, row two. If you hear construction noise, I know the housing boom may be over in some places, but here it's going strong. Okay, row three. Okay, that was row three. Two more to go on this. Zen, stop. Just clawing at the back door, trying to, at the storm door, trying to get out the um, get out to get the squirrel. Got to stretch my legs out. Oof. Okay, row six, chain one. Row six is just a repeat of that, but we're going to put a marker at the end. Okay, I did remember at least this time to bring a ball of the different colored yarn to um, do some stitch marking. And I'm actually going to work the first stitch of the next row before I do that. So chain one, work beginning decrease, and then I'll put the stitch marker in that bottom row there. And I cut my string long enough that I can knot it. There we go. Okay, so on row seven, eight, and nine, we start by working a decrease, going across to the last two and decreasing. We should end with 10 stitches. Nine and decrease makes 10 and finish off. And I'm gonna leave a goodly little tail there. Okay, so that is all right, let me turn it this way where we can see. Here is Tigger's nose, his mouth, which I just scrunched up in my hands. It is actually laying flat. flat. The top of his nose, and now the eye area comes up above it like this and kind of has a little bit of a curved shape here. Eye stripes. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Eye stripes, face border are all we have left on this part of them. So for the eye stripes, we need our brown. I am using, dun, 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 just says brown. Can't get much easier than that. With the right side of the eye area facing, join brown with single crochet in the end of the marked row. In my case, that is this that I put the yarn there in. Excuse my sniffles. Join with a single crochet single crochet in next two rows one two so we're kind of working up that curved side two single crochet in the first single crochet on row nine so one two that makes our corner single crochet in the next two single crochet in 
single crochet next two two single crochet and next single crochet changing to orange so do one do half of the second one grab your orange yarn and leaving a tail join it to finish that one off drop the brown single crochet in the next two picking back up your brown and this is just two stitches I don't mind carrying it across two the the knitter in me just cannot carry it crossed more than a few it just I don't know stresses me and then doo -doo 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 -doo. change to brown drop the orange two single crochets in the next one I forgot on that second one to pick my brown up correctly. Don't forget to use it as the second half of your stitch. Now, there we go. Now, single crochet in brown in the next two. What am I doing? Two single crochet in orange. change to brown, drop the orange, two single crochet in next single crochet. There we go. That's where I'm off. So there should be two single crochets in this one. Single crochet in next two. Two single crochets in the last one. And single crochet in the end of the next three rows so one two and I want to get in that end stitch three and then I I just look to verify that it looks like I've gone down as far and I think I'm not quite down so let's fix that one that would have been two. There we go. That's where I was off. Two. And the third one goes right in here. Whoops, that one stitches loose. Three. Now, all I'm doing is verifying that my third one runs in the same area as my starting one on that side. So I started here and I'm running in along the same line. That lets me know I've lined it up correctly. Da -da -da -da. Chain one and turn, working a beginning decrease, and then single crochet in three, one, two, three, single crochet in three, then two single crochet in the next one, one, two, two half double crochet in the next single. For If you don't remember half double, you wrap it first, pull it through all four, three, wrap it, go through your loop, you've got three on, pull it through all three, so that's two half doubles. Now do a decrease in the next two, and it's here that I'm picking back up my orange to finish that decrease. Two single crochet in next two, so two single crochet in each of the orange, one, two, one and on the second one remember to finish it with your brown do not pull this so tight that you pucker your material and then 
Do, do, do. At that point, we're going to cut the orange, but I want to make sure that it's correct first. Decrease, then two half double in the next two. No, two half double in the next single crochet. Sorry, I misspoke. I did it correctly, but I misspoke. Two single crochet in the next single crochet. Single crochet in one, two, three. This rounds our corner. And then decrease in the last two of the brown stitches and finish off. Leave a tail. I'm going to cut my orange and for my own comfort I am actually because that'll be on the inside going to tie this orange in a knot a loose knot I would never do that if it was clothing but where it is a stuffed animal all bets are off I'm going to remove my marker and the face border is the last bit we have with right side facing, join orange with single crochet in the joining of the jaw seam. Okay, right side facing. I forgot to take my string out a while ago. There we go. Join working in in rows and joining seam of jaw okay so our joining seam is right here wait no 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 joining seam of the jaw that's down here yes sorry joining seam of the jaw is this bottom where we crocheted it together and that's right in the middle of it. Join with a single crochet. Working in the end rows, decrease twice. So one, two, Place marker around last single crochet for placement. And I'm going to do that with some of this. I'm going to go ahead and cut me off a few strands. But I'm going to actually make the next stitch first. Decrease twice and then decrease three times. to that one Let's see one two three this one is the one that I need to mark for placement again I'm just using a string pulling it through and just tying it in a knot there we go so then I've got my three decreases you can see I'm working along the ends like it says Pull up a loop in the same row as the next joining stitch on the jaw and in the same row as the joining stitch on the muzzle. Okay, so here where we joined, you see that? We're going to pull up a loop there and a loop here, yarn over and draw through all three loops which almost looks like a decrease it says it counts as one single crochet then we're going to decrease three times one two 
to three. Single crochet at the base of the next single crochet on the eye area. So here's the eye area. I'm going to single crochet at the base of it, which I guess is right here. Okay. That single crochet is not pulled as tight as I'd like. Hold on. Single crochet. There we go. At the base of the next single crochet in the end of the next six rows. One. Oops, I'm one too far up. I am one too far up. Let me back up. There we go. Now, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So now I've worked up the side of that eye flap that we did. And in the first row of the eye strip, and the first row of the eye strip is right here, this first row of brown, to so do a single crochet in it. Three single crochet in the first single crochet on the next row. So this is along our top. Three single crochets. One, two, three. We're starting to work around the corner here of the eye flap. Three single crochet, single crochet, and each across to the last single crochet. So when we get to the last brown over here, we're going to work three in it. one and it has three single crochets in it. Got that. Boom, 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 boom. Single crochet in the end of the next seven rows. So we're barking back down the side of the thing here. The flap, the eye flap. five, six, and seven. So we're ending up with this. The orange is going around. And now we're, I've got this pink strand caught in there, but it's fine. I think that's my stitch marker from before. Seven. And in the stitch of the base row, which is right here. So that's my eighth single crochet. Working in the end rows on the muzzle, decrease three times. So let's see here. One, two, three. Okay. 
Okay, so decrease one, decrease two, decrease three. Now pulling up a stitch in each side of where we joined, it looks like another decrease, but it's right here where we joined the two pieces together, that seam. Draw through all three looks. Working in the end of rows, decrease five times. So one, two, three. Oh, we're about finished. four and five and join with a slip stitch to the first one and end it off you should have 61 single crochets and hold on just a minute because this stitch is this thing is bugging me. Let me figure out where it goes. There we go. Okay, so here is Tigger's mouth what I'm going to call his snout, his top of his nose. And then here is the eye flap. And as you can see, we have completely single crocheted all around it. When you work in your ends, do not take your marker off. I have a feeling they're going to have us refer to that later. So we are making progress that was not as bad as I thought the most awkward part was joining it mm. which was the case with some of the other pieces in this book so this is my tigger snout I wonder why they're not calling it a snout I guess snout doesn't sound as pretty